friends and welcome to Obsidian Soft. In today's class, I will teach you how to turn your Android device into a Qibla app. A Qibla app is an app that points towards Kaaba, located in Mecca in Saudi Arabia. However, you can turn this app into your home finder app or some other location direction app too by providing a different longitude and latitude. So let's begin. Go to projects, start a new project, call it Qibla app. For screen 1, make align horizontal center, align vertical center and change the screen orientation to portrait. Upload media. So I will upload a compass image that is a square image with a transparent background. So make sure it's a square and also I'm going to upload an arrow that will point towards my custom location that is Kaaba. Drag and drop from user interface a label rename to address label and remove the text from it and from drawing animation drag and drop a canvas make height and width both 500 pixels again from drawing an animation drag and drop two image sprites rename the first one to compass and rename the second one to arrow. Change the height and width of the compass image to fill parent. And for the arrow, change the height to 150 pixels and width 84 pixels. Now for the compass image sprite, choose the compass image that we uploaded earlier as the picture and arrow again picture is the arrow that we uploaded okay now from sensors drag and drop an orientation sensor and a location sensor and for the location sensor make the timer interval 1000 okay so our screen design is done so let's go to the blocks first of all we're going to make the global variables Kibla latitude, okay, and that is we know if we Google it, it is 21.4225. Okay, duplicate this is the Kibla or your home or any other location's longitude, and for me, it is 39.8262. Okay. Duplicate. Now this is my user latitude and I'm going to give it an invalid value so that I can distinguish when the location sensor has worked correctly and we have a valid latitude and longitude for the user's location. So I will initialize it to be 100. Okay. A valid latitude can only be between minus 90 and 90 degrees. Okay. Duplicate. User. Longitude. And this I'm going to give an invalid value of 200 because a valid value can only be between minus 180 and 180 degrees. Okay. And duplicate Kibla direction and I'm going to initialize it to zero. So when the screen is initialized, get that event and we are going to ask for permission for using the location. So go to screen one and ask for permission and make sure that course location is chosen here. Also, we have to align our compass image and arrow image in the center of the canvas. So set the compass X value to a minus and a division block, okay? So we plug in the minus block inside the division block and we divide by 2 here, okay. And what will come here? This will be canvas's width minus the compass width. And we subtract it and then we divide the whole thing by 2. Similarly, we have to do it for the Y and we have to change this to height 
okay and we have to do exactly the same thing for our arrow okay so choose arrow here and choose arrow here and again duplicate the y1 choose arrow here and arrow here okay so this will make sure that both the image sprites are in the center of the canvas whenever the orientation of our device changes this event is triggered okay orientation changed what we're going to do is we are first of all going to set our compass direction that is heading to true north and the true north is equal to this azimuth okay so we go to compass and we set its heading to this but we have to also find the direction of our arrow and that should point to Qibla or Kaaba in our case okay but we don't know the location yet so we are going to check that do we have the location or not okay so how can we do that we can compare it the user longitude and latitude to those invalid values so I'm going to check by using the control if then else block and I'm going to get an AND block and I am going to check by using two NOT equal to blocks so this I will make NOT equal NOT equal and again maths 100 here Two hundred here and variables get the latitude, user latitude, and user longitude. Okay, I'm then going to call a procedure that will find the direction. So let's quickly make a procedure which at the moment will stay empty. So call that procedure. Otherwise, we are going to set our address label to a message for the user that location not available yet. So an appropriate message here. Now we come to our this procedure, the find direction. So please follow it very carefully. It uses some trigonometric formulas to calculate the direction using the user latitude, user longitude, and Qibla latitude and longitude which you can change with your custom latitude and longitude okay just follow it very carefully I'm going to use a local variable call it longitude difference and this is basically a subtraction in which we subtract the user longitude from Qibla longitude okay so go to maths get a minus block Qibla longitude and user longitude okay and then we will use all the things that we have available to find the Qibla direction and, and then we will adjust the Qibla direction accordingly and I'm using a proper formula for that and I will give the link to that formula in the video description too. So have a look at this formula, subtraction to find the difference between Qibla longitude and the user longitude. Then we set our Qibla direction to A tan 2 formula, okay. So y is sine of this difference and x is cos of user latitude multiplied by tan of Qibla latitude. You calculate this and you calculate this on the other side that is sine of user latitude cos of the difference between the two longitudes that we did earlier and we subtract this from this okay so just pause the video so that you get this one correct okay okay so just pause the video then what else we are going to find the mode 
of our Qibla direction plus 360 degrees and the mod is 360 okay so just follow it exactly this way and if it is greater than 180 that is the calculated value then I am going to adjust it okay and this one so I'm going to set my arrow heading to the orientation sensors azimuth minus the Qibla direction okay so just follow this formula exactly the way I have shown it to you and your arrow will start pointing towards your custom location. What is the last thing that we have to do? The location sensor code. So when our location will change, that is this event will be triggered when we get a valid location information from our sensor. So what we're going to do is we are going to set our variables that is the user latitude to the valid latitude, the user longitude to the valid longitude and I am also going to set my address to my location sensors current address okay and in the end I'm going to call my procedure find direction okay so this is the code we are done and you can see that although the trigonometric code was a bit complicated but if you follow it carefully it will result in a very very cool app that you can show to friends and family and impress them thank you for watching my video and if you haven't subscribed to my channel kindly do so so that you don't miss any of the great things that I've planned for you have a good day and goodbye